And I'll give you just a couple of examples. Okay. You can have your significant other. Baby, how do I look in this dress? Is it too tight? Are you going to tell her the truth? Or are you going to lie? Or the kid, hey, daddy, I drew this picture. This the whole family. Well, nobody has heads. One person missing an arm. Are you going to lie or say, oh, that's such a good job. You're the best in the, you know. So is there a time to lie? I don't think so. And the reason why I say that, and I'm, I can just be straight up, but even with your examples, you know, if it's dressed too tight, if it's too tight, it's too tight. I'm going to be honest with you. Just because maybe the honesty is maybe, you know, it may be a little jab, you know, it may feel like, oh, you could at least say something, you know, but no, I'm being <laughs> honest with you because you will always respect my honesty. So if I, if you ask me something, I will give you my honest opinion. Why ask to be lied to? Why ask someone just to be lied to? Why? Why would you want that? Would you even want that, Mitch? Would no, you want no. somebody to lie to you? You'd be like, man, how does this suit look on me? Or whatever. Hey. Man, you look good, bro. You look good. Or do you want them to be like, dude, you look like trash? Well, look. You, look, look, you, know oh, no. <laughs> you see how you put it that quick? But let me tell you something. With that, that suit coming. Now, if I'm uh -huh. feeling good, I'm looking. And man, he really likes that suit. He looks like, yeah. hey. Well, you look like trash. No. Well, uh, well, it's too big on you, bro. Fine. You we can take, swallowing Taking the shoulders. Taking the shoulders or whatever. You, mm -hmm. Then it can work for you. I mean, a little constructive uh, criticism, yeah. which has been yeah. a, a topic before, people, yeah. uh, that goes a long way. Yeah, you don't have to be in your delivery nasty. No. Next. Take what? No, no. So so I, I will give you uh, my take on it and yes. let you know what I would do to fix the issue. Okay. You do what you want with that information. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, you know, you're like, man, how does this, uh, this outfit look or whatever? You know, how do these shoes look? Those shoes, you need to get some more, man. Those things are, <laughs> are hideous. I don't like them. Man, I, I'm just telling you, you wear them if you want to or whatever, and you may get some compliments from older people, but <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, you know, just to being honest, even with your kid, you, you brought up the kid situation, right? If they drew something, how does this look? Do you like it? If you don't like it, just tell them you don't like it. Uh, and... Can't, can come think, on. Look, look, you can think that it breaks the kid's heart, but that's what happens in life. Everybody's not going to like everything that you do in life. You know, you're not going to be able to please everybody. And you can explain this to the child. I don't really like this. I don't like the way that you didn't complete this. You did half of the arm. You didn't do whatever, right? Finish it. Take it back and finish it. I guarantee they will go back and make something different. And try, now, now, what is, now, this is better. You know it's, what I'm saying? Especially for the age of the child. It's you, you merit. Know I mean? It's Go merit. Ahead. I'm sorry for cutting you off. It's merit in everything you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for the, <laughs> the three-year-old kid or whatever that's trying to oh. draw something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey. I don't see it. That that's nice, though. Let let me help you out with this right here. Something like that. But yeah. no. That's boom, boom, boom. No, because, you know, they're so impressionable. We don't want to hurt their uh, feelings. Now, I'm not saying, first of all, not so to you, tell your so kid. So you're saying no, get everybody a trophy. Your kid. You, you get a trophy. No. You get a trophy. No, you, you know I'm not down that. No, no. Is that what you're trying? No. Is that where we're going? No, no, no. but it's how you put it. It's how you put it. It's, that's uh -huh. all. That's all. And in the delivery. In the, and uh -huh. I did find out because I was one of those uh, men Oh, baby, how I look in that? Hmm. Yeah, if you like it. After I see you try on six blue blouses, I mean, they they all fine to me. Oh, dang, that one was tight. Am I gonna say it's tight? Oh, baby, yes. that's fine. You you okay? But now, honesty, congregation, men specifically, who I'm talking to, because ladies gonna give you their take. They be straight on it a hundred percent. No, hey, you know, and, going and they do me. it. No, no, they don't. <laughs> you know, they don't. You, play know, you know, the women they yeah, either right. tell you or mm -hmm. they will, you know, beat around the bush and tell you. Yeah, you they gonna wear that. Say. You gonna wear that? <laughs> they, they <laughs> that's basically talk. saying that don't go together <laughs> or that don't look good. <laughs> that's basically what they're saying. Yeah, you don't wear that or whatever. Mm. You know, so yeah. that, so you gotta. Some women do that, and some women. 
Uh-uh. You ain't yeah, going nowhere with me. Like, yeah. like oh, that. come on, Kane. Some women do that. So, like I say, they will let you know. However, yeah. we have to be able to tell each other, you know, as men, that something ain't right. Right. Yeah, yeah, every, what you got going is, nah, man, I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't know what you were envisioning, but I don't see it. We got to be honest with it and honest with our kids. Yeah, I, I understand you brought up the three-year-old or whatever. Yes, your criticism comes with the age group, right? Right, right. So, right, yeah, right. You, yeah you're, gonna, you're not going to treat an eight-year-old like a three-year-old, you know? You see right. what I'm saying? That's the difference. Right, right. One right. of them is, uh, you know, proficient in writing and reading, and the other one is just learning. Yes. So, you know, that that's how you do your criticism. So you're not going to go dig in on a three-year-old than you would with the eight-year-old, depending on circumstances. And and Kane, just switching this over to the job force, mm-hmm. I, no, it's, it's, it's no even room for a lie. There's no room for a lie. Yeah. When you're on the job, it's no room for it because it okay. can lead to just different okay. things. I mean, yeah. safety, uh, uh, but you want to be straight on the path, straight and narrow, walking that line. When you're dealing with coworkers, balls, subordinates, uh, people that's up under you, no, this is not how we going to well, do well, things. And, and I agree. I agree with, you know, if you're a supervisor, you being honest with your uh, employees. Yes. 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 Don't lie to them. When it's evaluation time, don't lie to them that they're doing great. Everybody has room for improvement. Everybody, even that supervisor, has room for improvement. Yes. You need to dig into that particular individual that you're supervising and find out where they can improve. Yeah, they may be looking good, shining in this aspect and that aspect, but however, where are they lacking at? That's how you build up someone. Come on. Being honest. Come on. So you don't need to lie to them and say, check the blocks and say, all right, yeah, you good. You good. You, you, you're great. Go ahead and get the bonus. You're great. Whatever, right? You need to be honest. That's how you build the uh, tomorrow's leaders. That's how you do it. If you're not honest with them, then they'll just think that they're good until they get into a situation. And then you ah. just hit it. <laughs> because when you lie, especially – what you just said, they could be putting forth that effort thinking that what they're doing is top notch. I am on this track, but you're lying to them. You can't yep. even vouch for them in that next meeting where you're even rating different personnel at the job because you see they really not cutting the mustard when compared with other people in that job, you know. So especially in the military when we're um, – at a board and we're trying to uh, put people in, okay, is this going to be the number one? Is this number two? But then you find out that your person who you nominated, they don't even cut the mustard when it comes to other personnel. And just to, you know, in the military, we know it's extracurricular activities that you're doing. That's going to just boost you up. They doing this and this. So you never want to lie. It always, I agree with you a hundred percent. It's always room for improvement in that aspect. And then Kane, what about the relationship? Cause we just, now we just hitting all these topics talking about lying, but when you're dealing with your significant other, your mate, uh, girlfriend, wife, or boyfriend, do you, you, you know, do you, you, you're honest with them all the time. Yeah. You have to be honest with them. You have to be honest with your significant other. Um, if you don't like the situation, if you don't like the accommodation, if you don't like the way that they perform in bed, if you don't like the way that, you know, that they massage you, whatever, right? Be honest with them. Yeah. So they'll know where they need to improve. Yeah. You know, Uh, and it may sound harsh. It may say, oh, I wouldn't tell them that they not that good or that whatever. You find ways y'all work together in a relationship, and then you figure out different ways to improve. Yes. But if that communication is gone because you've just been lying to them the whole time. Yes. Yeah, you've been so great in bed. You've been this, you know, outstanding or whatever. Been all out. The woman, the woman. It's thinking like I can I've had better type thing. Hold on. And if that's the case, then what 
why are you lying to him? You don't want to hurt his feelings, but however, do you want, if you really want this man, you want, you know, him to step up his game, then you help assist and being honest with him to uh, do different things or whatever. Maybe he needs to do something different in the bedroom or whatever. Right. And that's what the relationship type thing, you know? Yeah. And, um, uh, uh, good take on that. Good take on that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think, um, it's so way about how you communicate it to that individual. Yeah, it's course, a way about how you communicate it to that individual. Of and course. ladies, you know how people talk shut to down. Man. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know how you talk yeah. to your partner, y'all. Yeah. So the communication is the biggest thing. Um, I'm just not a big fan of uh lying. Have I lied before? I'm human. When I was out there cutting up in the world, yes. Yes, ridiculous. But do you lie like, now? You tell people now. the honest truth? Oh, I, I tell the truth, but I would be lying if I said I tell the truth all the time. I don't think <laughs> how, how, we do how that. about I, I don't, how, I don't do you, think that. Do you, do you lie to strangers? How about that? Well, you know what? I, I think we uh people you don't know do at times. You know, when you pe- meeting people, you know, and I'm Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Oh, you're fine. Okay, boom. Keep it going. Hi, you might be feeling the worst, but it's yeah. you just not you're not gonna say that. I'm gonna try to keep that that stoic smile on my face Why? and keep on moving. Why? Because you you don't want. How do you not? Let how do you know. not know? How do you not know that that particular person that spoke to you can probably help you in your situation that you're going through? Uh, it's, it's, so now you're well, dictating well, who knows what and how your life goes. You go. there, but how there, do you not know that God didn't place that see, person there, I knew, in look, front of you? I like I like where you're going, but no, I don't want I'm you just, to say you're playing God. But okay, <laughs> I knew I'm, was just saying, go. I'm, just, I'm just saying. How do you not know that that particular person was spoke to you and was supposed to help you in your downfall or whatever you're going through, but you decide to lie to them about your circumstances? Well, it, it goes with you might not uh, talk to this individual a lot, or especially if it's in passing at work. Hey, I just see this. Hey, we but we speak every day. Hey, how you doing? And it's just random conversations like that. Mm-hmm. And you really don't just go when they ask you. And we talked about this before. Hey, how you doing? Whew, somebody might say, man, um, this is this is going on. I'm glad you asked. Man, do you know? Ba, 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 ba. And you'd be like, wow, man, they revealed a whole lot. I just want to say how you're doing and keep passing. So you never know in that aspect. And what you said has Well, even if you don't know the answer, you can still direct them, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it could be a blessing, but you never know. And I just don't go about saying, you know, it could be personal things, you know, to just anybody and everybody. That's all. So well, I'm not saying details. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. generalize it, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, you right. can generalize it. And you can generalize the situation and maybe they'll say, hey, you know what? Even though they make, let's say they come up to you and, and spill their guts or give a generalized thing that's going on with them. Maybe you can help them and say, let me, let me, let me introduce you to this person because they can probably help you with your situation. Right. Yeah. Or let me give you this phone number and then maybe they can kind of help you with your situation. And you didn't even think about this phone number because you were going through whatever, because your mind is clouded because of whatever stressors that you're going through. And you just you were able to give them the number to call for whatever, you know. Right. But but that's the thing. If you were not honest with them or uh, that person wasn't honest with you. And then it's just hi, hi, and then they're still with the same situation. So it seems like honesty really helps everyone yes. in the long run. Yes, I, I would. To me, to me, oh. uh, c- congregation, congregation, jump in this thing. I, I, I need I y'all to jump that. in this thing in the comments. Let us know what do y'all think about this. Is there a reason? Is there ever a reason to lie? Well, I, and I, it can be with kids. It can be with relationships. It can be with the police. I don't care. Is there ever a time to lie and not tell the truth? Go ahead, bro. Well, I thought of a couple of times. Uh, oh, oh, there are reasons. There are. Oh reasons. man. Go ahead. Help us out. Help us out. Well, 
who ate daddy's big piece of chicken? It's three of us mm-hmm. in the house. It should have been two breasts and a thigh in there, but one of the breasts ended up being missing. I don't think I'm going to say I Why did. not? Why not? Okay, so you're gonna you get already that know, it, it, even <laughs> if you, um, because uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you knew that dad gets the big piece of chicken. Oh, yeah. You yeah, want to yeah, go yeah, there, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And if you end up eating dad's piece of chicken, take your punishment, mm. whatever that may be. Mm-hmm. You know, if it is if it's a spanking, if it's a punishment, if it's a whatever, uh, uh, just a tongue lashing, whatever it may be, take that's it thing, because, too. hey, look, look, because that's what it is. You 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 got to suffer consequences for your actions. That's reality. Why live in a falsehood? Yes, but you why know why live in do? something dramatic like that? Go ahead. You get your little sister to come with you, and then get her to eat a little bit of the. Chicken with you, yeah. I'm saying, you know, it's, bad it things. Like you've done this before. <laughs> it sounds hey, like you. No, we don't post to. I'm gonna give you a, but you eat most of it. You give her a little piece. So technically, mm-hmm. you know, that's bad. What is, you know? But hey, so yeah. So you want to? So lie. basically, you inviting other people <laughs> to the demise. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> that was what you were doing. I don't want to be bad all by myself, right? Yeah. That's exactly what you're They're not going to whoop the little sister. Yeah. Okay, you. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That might have happened but, before. Serious yeah. note. Let's say, heaven forbid, uh, uh, your child, um, you have a, a, a son, and then uh, he's 17, 16, doesn't matter. And uh, he was involved in a hit and run. Let's say that. Mm-hmm. Hit and run. And uh, he came to the house, hey, Pops, all that stuff. Hey, uh, Wednesday, I was with you at the house or whatever. The police come. Hey, you got a couple of questions with you. Was your son with you on this day and time? You know he wasn't. Is that a time to lie? To no. protect your seed? No, no. Because, first of all, you wouldn't play along that game. Mm-hmm. And you they you would probably instill the right thing for your child to not leave the scene of a crime. All right. Or an accident. You know so, what I mean? You know what I mean? So, so you would already instill them, like, they would probably call you, call the police. You know what I'm saying? Stay yes. right there. They will call, you know. Yes. No matter no matter if you've been drinking or you're high, whatever, right? Stay right there. Okay. You know, and and deal with the consequences because a lot of people just look at these scapegoats or whatever, right? They just yeah. try to find their way, you know, out of what is going on. In all actuality, you need to face what's going on. Roger. And that's what they need to do. That's that's reality. That's, that's because it. it'll hit it, it it'll hit them. It'll hit them. And that's why I, I, I don't think that you should lie for your, your your family. I think you should just let it, you know, tell them, tell it like it is. All right. Congregation, y'all, I can be wrong. No. It, how, how y'all feel about it, no. congregation? Y'all no. think y'all should just lie for the family? Like, hey, you know, if your brother, cousin, sister, brother, whatever, right? <laughs> they did something wrong. You shouldn't say anything. Hey. Keep I'm your a... mouth closed. Hey. Police come asking questions. Hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna say it was Kane. C A N. My bad. <laughs> hey, 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 let them know. Let them know. But I, I wouldn't. I shouldn't be indulging in those activities. Right. Right. Even if it was me, I shouldn't be. And if you was any friend of mine, you would tell me not to do that. Hey, Roger that. Right. You'll be like, hey, look, Kane. You don't need to be going over there. Mess with those guys. They ain't number trouble. Yeah. Right, and if I continue to do so, then hey, man, I told you. You know, yeah. I got I, I got to be honest, because it goes a long way. You don't want to lie for somebody else to be free or do anything when you know that they're wrong, because your heart of hearts, you'll be you'll be looking back like, and if they do something else on top of what that is, then you're responsible because 
You just lied to keep them out of jail, and they just did something else to put themselves in jail or did something else to someone else. And, Kane, uh, lastly, mm-hmm. I know you heard this. Our congregation, I know you heard this. When you lie, you usually have to tell another lie. Then yep. another lie. Then uh, you forget right, about this, and it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. That's what it is. Hey, in the comments, let us know how y'all feel about this lying, covering up for family members, for whomever, right? How do y'all feel about that? Is it warranted? Is there ever a time that you need to lie? Let us know in the comments. We'll respond. Give us a thumbs up, man. Algorithm. You know how it is, man. We got to try to, hey, look, look, we need to reach more people than what we got. And the only way that that happens if you, you know, interact with us and we'll interact back. That's how it is. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, baby. Roger that. Do something. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 